Hi guys and welcome back for another math lesson. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang measures of position for a group data. Please make sure na may hawak na kayong pen and paper as we go on through our discussion. Part in discussing our lesson, let us first identify kung ano nga ba ang learning objectives ng ating lesson for today. At the end of this video, you should be able to Illustrate the different measures of position for ungrouped data Calculate the different measures of position such as quartile, decile, and percentile And lastly, interpret and apply the different measures of position in real-life situations This time, let us ask ourselves, ano nga bang pinatawag natin measures of position? Or, how do we define measures of position? Ang measure of position ay isang technique na nagahati sa data into equal group. Meron tayong iba't ibang measures of position, katulad na lamang when you were in grade 7 under the measure of central tendency which is the median. Median is also considered a measure of position since it divides the data into exactly two equal parts. Other type of measure of positions are quartile, decile, and percentile na siyang pag-uusapan natin sa video na to. Simulan natin ang discussion sa unang measure of position which is the quartile. By definition, quartile is a score point that divides a distribution into four equal parts. Let's try to look at the figure. Meron tayong quartile 1, which is also known as the lower quartile, na equals sa 25%. We also have this quartile 2, also known as the middle quartile, which is equivalent to 50%. Si quartile 2 ay the same lang ng value kay median ng measure of central tendency. The median, the quartile 2, or the middle quartile are both equivalent to 50%. And then we also have this quartile 3, also known as the upper quartile, which is equivalent to 75%. The next measure of position is the deciles. Kung ang quartile, hinahati niya ang distribution into exactly 4 equal parts, si deciles naman ay isang score points na humahati sa distribution into 10 equal parts. Since decile divides the distribution into 10 equal parts, that means kada decile part natin ay nag add lang tayo ng 10%. In this figure, we have deciles 1 to 9. So decile 1 is equal to 10%. Decile 2, add lang tayo ng 10% kay decile 1, so we have 20%, up to decile 9, which is 90%. Now take a look at our decile 5. Decile 5 is equivalent to 50%. That means, Decile 5 is the same with the second quartile or the quartile 2 and the median in measure of central tendency. And lastly, we have these percentiles. Kung si Decile divides the distribution into 10 equal parts, si Quartile divides the distribution into 4 equal parts, Percentiles are score points naman that divides the distribution into 100 equal parts. In this case, we have percentile 1 hanggang percentile 99 or P1 to P99. Since it divides the distribution into exactly 100 equal parts, that means kung ano yung number ng position natin sa percentile, iyon din yung value or equivalent percent niya. So in this figure, P10 or the percentile 10 is equal to 10%. P20 is equal to 20%. 30% for P30. Hanggang sa makarating tayo sa P99 which is equivalent to 99%. Take note na ang P50 ay equivalent kay 50%. That means percentile 50 is the same with the D5 and the middle quartile as well as the median. So, meron tayong tatlong method sa pagsasolve ng measure of position. 
The first one is the use of Mendenhall and Simsich method. Ang pangalawa naman ay through linear interpolation. And the last one is solving of measure position through the general method. So sa video na to, ang focus natin ay ang Mendenhall and Simsich method. Heto yung mga formula na gagamitin natin as we proceed sa ating topic for today. Kung ang hinahanap natin ay position ng quartile, we will be using the formula Q of K being equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 4. Kay decile naman, we will be using the formula D of K equal K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 10. Kay percentile naman, we will be using the formula P of K equal K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 100. Sa pagsasolve natin ng measure of position for ungrouped data using Mendenhall and Sinsich method, meron tayong rules na kailangang sundin. Like what I have said earlier, si quartile 2, si decile 5, at si percentile 50 ay magkakamuka ng equivalent. Dahil itong mga scores na to ay mga scores na located sa middle ng distribution. Looking at the figure, makikita natin ang position ng decile 1, quartile 1, and percentile 40. Alam naman natin na ang position ng mga scores na to ay less than 50%. Since decile 1 is equal to 10%, Q1 is equal to 25%, at ang P40 natin ay equal kay 40%. If we are looking for the measure of position which is less than 50%, at ang mga scores na to ay located sa left side ng ating data. Take note na kung ang computed value natin ay may kasamang decimal, that means ira-round up natin ang ating position. I-disregard natin kung ano ang value ng decimal na kasama ng ating computed value. Let us say for example, ang computed value natin ay 5.5. That means, ang position na ilolocate natin ay 6. On the other hand, kung ang computed value naman natin ay 5.2, that means, ang ilolocate pa rin nating value ng position ay 6. But what if we are going to compute for the measure of the position sa right side naman ng ating data? Ito naman ay mga scores which is greater than 50%. Let's say for example, we are computing for decile 6 which is equivalent to 60%, Q3 which is equivalent to 75%, and P9P which is equivalent to 90%. Kung yun ang case ng pag natin or ang inahanap nating position ay greater than 50%, at yung computed nating value sa measure of position ay may decimal na kasama, ang gagawin naman natin sa case na to ay ira-round down natin yung computed number natin. Let's say for example, kung ang computed nating value kay decile 6 ay 8.3, that means ang magiging sagot natin ay 8 since ira-round down natin siya. In the same manner, kung ang computed value naman natin kay decile 6 ay 8.5, that means, ira-round down pa din natin siya since we are computing for a measure position greater than 50% or yung nasa right side ng data. That means, 8 pa din yung magiging sagot niya. So, ito yung mga rules na kailangan nating sundin in solving for the measure of position using Mendenhall and Sinsich method. Again, in the left side of the data, wherein yung kinocompute nating position ay less than 50%, if the value has decimal, that means ira-round up natin siya. On the other hand, kung ang kinocompute naman nating position ay nasa right side ng data, or position greater than 50% equivalent, that means ira-round down natin ang ating computed value. At para mas maintindihan nyo pa ng maigan, let us have an illustrative examples. Let us say that the following are the scores of 12 students of grade 10 Kamya in their 30-item math test. Ang first thing na gagawin natin sa problem na to ay arrange ang mga numbers in ascending order. 
That means, i-arrange natin ang data from the lowest score up to the highest score. After natin i-arrange ang data from the lowest up to the highest score, the next thing to do is to solve for the measure of the position. Sa particular example na to, let us try to solve for the quartile 3, decile 4, and percentile 15. Simula natin ang pagsusolve sa quartile 3. Since sinahanap natin ang location ng quartile 3, that means gagamitin natin ang formula na QK equals K over 4 times N plus 1 or QK equals K times N plus 1 divided by 4. The next thing na kailangan natin gawin ay isubstitute natin ang value ni K which is equal to 3. At ang value naman ni N which is already given and that is 12. N is equal to the number of distribution in the data. So it will give us Q of 3 equals 3 over 4 times the quantity 12 plus 1. Simplifying the equation further, 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. 3 multiplied by 13 is equal to 39 divided by 4 is equal to 9.75. Following the rules of Mendenhall and Sinisic method, alam natin na ang Q3 is equal to 75% and 75% is greater than 50%. So that means, ito ay nasa right side ng distribution. At kapag nasa right side ng distribution at may decimal ang nakuha nating value, that means we are going to use round down. So 9.75 will only be equal to 9. So ang position ng ating quartile 3 ay ang pang 9 na number dito sa distribution na ito. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay bibilangin lang natin kung ano yung pang-9 na number sa distribution na ito. So, ang pang-9 nating na number, which is the value of the quartile 3, is 23. So, kung i-interpret natin ang ating computed answer, that means 75% of the scores are less than or equal to 23. Now, try naman natin isolve ang value ng ating decile 4. Since we are dealing with decile, we are going to use the formula D of K, which is equal to K over 10 times the quantity N plus 1. Or, D of K is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 10. Then afterwards, isa substitute lang natin ang value ni K, which is 4, at ang value ni N, which is 12. Simplifying our answer further, we have D of 4, which is equal to 4 over 10 times 12 plus 1. Or D of 4, which is equal to 4 over 10 times 13. 13 times 4 is 52, and 52 divided by 10 is 5.2. Applying the rule ng ating Mendenhall and Sinsic method, we know na ang value natin ng D of 4 is 40%. 40% is less than 50%. Since it is less than 50%, that means yung position natin ay nasa left side ng distribution. Since alam natin na kapag nasa left side ng distribution at may decimal, that means we are going to round up the answer. So 5.2 will become 6, so that means hahanapin natin yung pang-anim na number sa distribution. As we can see, ang pang-anim na number natin sa distribution ay 19. That means, our decile 4 is equal to 19. So, ang interpretation nito ay, 40% of the students has a score which is less than or equal to 19. Now, let us solve for the P15. Since we are dealing with a percentile, gagamitin natin ang formula na P sub K is equal to K over 100 times the quantity N plus 1. Or, P sub K is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 divided by 100. Using the formula, 
isasubstitute natin ang value ni K, which is 15, at ang value ni N, which is 12. So we have P of 15 is equal to 15 over 100 times the quantity 12 plus 1. Since 12 plus 1 is equal to 13, P15 is equal to 15 over 100 times 13. Simplifying it further, it will give us the answer 1.95. So P15 is equal to 1.95. Using the Mendenhall and Sinsich method, we know that P15 is equal to 15%. At ang 15% ay less than 50%. So that means we are going to round up our answer. So instead the 1.95, it will become 2. So we are going to look for the number na nasa position ng pangalawa. At ang nasa pangalawang position ng ating distribution ay 8. So that means 15% of the students got a score of less than or equal to 8. Bago ko tapusin ang discussion na ito, gusto ko lang tandaan ninyo na kapag ang sagot natin ay walang decimal, that means yun na agad yung position na bibilangin natin doon sa ating distribution. Now you try this activity. Please comment your answer on our comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.